Red Wolves math prep tutors will assist students across four Northeast Arkansas junior high schools reach a higher level in math required for high school graduation and college admission. As we know that the, a, the, the ACT is our dominant standard for college admissions in Arkansas. And according to that particular report, 26% of high school graduates in Arkansas, um, only 26% were prepared for college math. Tutors will help students across Northeast Arkansas at schools like Douglas MacArthur, Annie Kemp, Nettleton Junior High Schools, and City Youth Ministries. The program is set to begin next week until August 31st, 2021. And Dr. Randall hopes this will increase the college going rate in Arkansas. Then the, the higher we raise those scores at the junior high level, then hopefully by the time they matriculate to high school, then the scores will be raised at a, le at a level where they can at least score um, high enough to, um, to, to make a, a decent score on the ACT in the area of math, thereby in great or heightening their chances of uh, entering a four-year university. Randall says research shows scores drop at the fourth to sixth grade level and starting there can help before they move to high school. The university will provide 20 math tutors and they hope to help about 100 students. Each A-State tutor will have five specific students based upon their class schedule. COVID guidelines will be followed and in place for safety concerns. Uh, we'll follow the same standards as ASU. Um, also, the schools, uh, the, all the schools we're working with, they're following the same standards as well. Um, we will definitely make sure everyone will have a mask. Everyone will have everything they need. Um, we will have shields and different things. So we will make sure that uh, we follow those same standards and those same procedures. A-State students can contact Dr. Randall to become a tutor, and if you would like your child to be a part of the program, you can reach out to the specific school for more information. Sydney Thompson, Northeast Arkansas News, Jonesboro.